For those of you that have been following my channel for pretty much any period of time, you know that I like to take my creative workspaces very seriously. And that's why I'm making an entire video dedicated towards rebuilding this setup. There's a lot of big changes. It's gonna look completely different. That's why I'm excited to share it with you guys today. What you're seeing now is my new desk. It's upside down and it's actually a sit stand desk. So if any of you guys are curious about any of the products I use in this video, I'll be sure to link them down in the description below and you can support the channel by using those. But first things first, let me show you what I'm gonna do with the cable management and how I go about doing it. So let's zoom in on that. The reason I have my desk flipped upside down here is that way you can very clearly see the underside of the desk and that way it's gonna make cable management much easier. I like to start with my cable management first because that way I'm able to kind of develop a plan and execute on it. So let's do just that. So right here, what I wanna do is put my controller for my sit stand desk since it is motorized but this thing comes with this cool grate that you can mount right here like so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this to the bottom side of here so that way I can easily take it off to unplug things or plug them in or whatever. So now that we have a pretty solid plan and a pathway for the cables we already have now and for future cables, it's time to flip this thing upside down so we can finally see what it's going to look like. <sighs> Sorry downstairs neighbors, you got a new neighbor. <laughs> This right here is the controller for the sit stand desks. So that way you can have your presets, make it go up and down and all that jazz. And the way it works is you mount it right here underneath the desk, somewhere along here. And I have four screws to do just that. And bingo. Now we can lift this thing all the way up and then it makes cable management a lot easier. So now that we have the subwoofer plugged in, that means we have all of our peripherals ready to go for my laptop. But first things first, let's go ahead and build my new chair. I personally think this thing fits the aesthetic perfectly. And on top of that, it is extremely breathable and comfortable. Overall, very badass. Now it's time to plug in my new 2019 Core i9 MacBook Pro. This thing is a beast, and when you pair it with an ultra wide, well, it turns into a monster. So let's plug in Thunderbolt here. And the reason why I have my laptop down here this way you see it is because I love using the trackpad. I actually prefer it over a mouse in Premiere because there's a lot of haptic feedback things that are really nice. And in addition to this, the keyboard is built in. So I'm not going to have to have a separate keyboard or mouse. This is just the way I prefer things. So that's going to be amazing there. Also, and on top of that, the Thunderbolt cable here, it actually charges the MacBook and displays video to the ultra wide you can see here. So there's only one cable needed and that's it. The only cable you're ever gonna see is this cable here. Now I do recognize that there's a little bit of a mess going down over there, but that will be completed for my full tour. Still waiting on a couple things in the mail for that. But if you're curious about me building any of the rest of my apartment here, I'll have that playlist down in the description below and stay tuned for the tour coming soon. I'm really excited. I'm really pumped to share with you guys the space I've been working on here, and I can't wait to get started filming videos in my new apartment. See you guys later.